Valor. I'm a medicinal chemist and I'm an associate director in the drug discovery department at MND. My role consists in providing scientific advice and uh, strategic leadership to multidisciplinary um, MND supported drug discovery project working with partners from industry and academia. Uh, there are always innovation in drug discovery. One area that we are particularly interested in currently is artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, because we believe that optimal application of the right technology can enhance further my drug discovery. Thanks to the support of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, we have an ongoing collaboration with a company based in the US called Atomwise. So Atomwise, they have created a very interesting uh, technology, uh, which has been applied for the first time to malaria. Uh, actually, they model uh, the proteins that MMV has prioritized as interesting biological target. Then they use proprietary algorithm to virtually screen a huge number of compounds so 16 billion um, and to really see uh, which compound fits optimally into this protein. This has allowed them to come back to us with their top 70 candidates to be tested against the biological target of interest and the outcome of this uh, can then be fed back into machine learning to refine the model in order to predict the next compound to be made in the subsequent round and they are expecting to be more potent against this biological target. The first thing to mention is that at MMV all our projects are collaboration with either academic groups, contract research organization, pharma partner or biotech. To come back to your question more specifically, the so first thing we do when we have a screening active uh, for malaria, it's true for all drug discovery process, first thing is to confirm the activities that we have observed in the first screen. Then, once when it's done, uh, there is a prioritization and optimization process in order to fine tune the potency and all the properties necessary for the delivery of a preclinical candidate. I would say that really the expectation is that artificial intelligence and machine learning will accelerate uh, the pace of drug discovery, making it more efficient thanks to the recourse to algorithm and also of course um, uh, computing system.